to see this Charlie is so cool guy is back because originally he makes a video his very first video gets him featured and gets around 200,000 people to view it and around 4,000 subscribers in just a couple of weeks but someone complains and I'm like play who is he well he's a well-known probably and well-respected person on live video and YouTube but he complains because he didn't have it that easy. It took him about a year to get 4,000 subscribers, and he didn't get featured on his first video, nor has he ever been featured. And I could understand a little bit where Blade's coming from, because there's some people, whether it is looks or whatever it is, they have to try harder to get subscribers. They're not like Dax Flame or Charlie's Cookie and have it so easy. You get someone like James of Fast Food TV, he has around 2,000 subscribers, which is pretty good. You should be happy with the subscribers you get. Some people are going to get more subscribers than others. Some people get featured and some people don't. But this Charlie guy, then maybe because of Blade or some haters, he takes away all his videos and his account and leaves for a couple of days. Now, my friend does this all the time and I don't try to let it get to me every time he uses the word new because I find that to be a little bit offensive because everyone is a noob at somewhere. Everyone has to start out from somewhere. Like with Warcraft 3, the first time I played that, I went with an easy 4 versus 4 game. And when our team lost, the rest of the people were thinking, let's start up a new game that's private with a password. So this noob cannot join. That doesn't seem very friendly, that you should try to welcome people no matter who they are. Because like with Charlie, there will always be a few people out there with the hater comments or all the times they're called new, they'll take the thing too seriously and they'll get all emotional and just give up, which they really shouldn't.